Hopefully, because hopefully we can keep those, cl those clouds clear enough to see a pretty amazing event tonight. Yeah, you've probably been seeing this on your social yes. media over the past couple of days here. A comet that was actually recently discovered, but it's coming around for the first time in 50,000 years. We should be able to see it. Now, tonight, you're going to need a telescope or some binoculars to see it, and you have to wait until just after midnight as it rises above the horizon. So again, that's tonight. You need that telescope. But we'll be able to see it now for about a month or so, and it should continue to get a little bit brighter, and that is because it will get a little bit closer to us in February. But it is closest to the sun tonight, and that's why we'll be able to see it, but it's closer to Earth on February 2nd. But if you want to get outside at midnight tonight, you can look to the northeast right after midnight. It'll be low on the horizon because it'll be just be rising. I suggest the easiest way to find it is use an app on your phone like Sky Map. They're free and you can actually use your phone and point it in the sky and it will help you locate different things. You can do that for planets every night. It's one of my favorite apps that I like to use. But tonight it's not going to look like this. This is a beautiful picture here uh, and take it was a long exposure. It will look something like that though. Just a green kind of faint blob in your binoculars or your telescope. But on February 10th it should be a little bit brighter and we might actually be able to see it with our own eyes without the need for a telescope or binoculars. And on February 10th, it'll be a lot easier to locate as well because you'll have to look west. You'll be able to spot Mars really easy. Of course, that's the reddish reddish star in the sky there. And you'll be able to see it just after sunset. And again, it will hopefully be a little bit brighter on February 10th. But tonight, you'll have to wait until after midnight. And Lee, hopefully the clouds will hold off and we'll be able to see that and get some good pictures. Yeah, so 